Welcome back, everybody, at 18 after the hour. All right, so so now the dancing, now the dancing to the return music has turned into poking yourself in the wow. eye while dancing to the return music. <laughs> what, what are you doing over there? I just poked. I was just kind of put booking it out. out, and then I put my own eye out. Wow! I just need to sit still. <laughs> now let's uh, let's go to the hotline, shall we, and uh, talk to a guy that's got himself a new deal on the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series with Turner Motorsports. Steve Arpin joins us. Hey, Steve. How's it going today, guys? Well, <laughs> me and Cyclops over here are doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, not bad at all. I was listening to that music when we came back on, and I was kind of dancing, too, and my wife's looking at me here like I'm an idiot. Yeah, well, well watch your eyes, I guess. That's all we can say. Don't apparently poke it's, yourself out. Apparently it's dangerous. I, I thought she was going to start poking me in the eyes just what I look like when I dance. Probably not a bad idea, I guess. So, well, congratulations on the new deal. Five races beginning at Texas for Turner Motorsports with the Mike's Hard Lemonade sponsorship. How did this all come together for you? You know, we've been working really hard with Mike's Hard Lemonade for a couple of years now, and we had, we had so much success in the ARCA series last year with them, and, and we just wanted to keep on progressing together. And we really sat down long and hard and thought long and hard about it all, all through the off season, And we are just really trying to figure out what the best place for me was, what the best place for, for Mike's Hard Lemonade as a brand was. And, and the truck series, along with Turner Motorsports, was just a perfect match. It just... One of those deals that we wanted all the ingredients for a perfect recipe, and, and this is this is what we came up with, and, and we couldn't be we couldn't be more thrilled to to be able to have this opportunity with them. So, and besides, when you're talking about tailgating, Mike's Hard Lemonade is all about tailgating. So <laughs> we figured we figured we have to have a pickup to be able to tailgate, right? There you go, absolutely right. <laughs> you know, Turner Motorsports is a fairly new operation, uh, but in terms of the amount of respect that they've earned in the in the Truck Series garage in a very short period of time, that's kind of a no-brainer. If you get an opportunity to drive for them, you're going to take it. Absolutely. They're, they, they've been doing great this year. Ricky Carmichael, Brad Sweet, James Busher, they've all been doing great. And like you said, they are a new organization. They, 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 ha, they do have to earn their stripes, but they're doing a great job of it. And I've been, I've been fortunate enough to be able to spend a lot of time with them this year. And, and like to have Steve Turner as an owner, he's, I, I, I just, I'm so impressed each and every time I go to the racetrack. He's such a hands-on owner from the, from the competition side. He's right in there like a dirty shirt. He knows what's going on. He's <laughs> He's passing information, making sure all the teams have all of the same information, and and from the business side, he's he's just honestly the most intelligent businessman I've ever spoke to in my entire life. First race of the five will be Texas Motor Speedway, and and based on your track history there, that that's also a no brainer. That was probably <laughs> the best place you could have picked, huh? <laughs> As soon as they told me that race was available, it just it was a done deal. I'm like, we are <laughs> starting at Texas. So, like Mike's Hard Lemonade, that's where, that's where everything started out for us last year. That was a that was a big week for us last year at uh, at Texas. We got our our second ARCA win. We had the Mike's Hard Lemonade come on board with us. We we got the opportunity with Dale Jr. and Junior Motorsports, and I, I just couldn't be more thrilled to start it there and right back in Turner Motorsports in Steve Turner's home state. So, it's a it's a perfect situation. The other tracks on the agenda, as we understand it, Kentucky, Iowa, uh, Lucas Oil at Indy, and Chicagoland. A- any rhyme or reason in those choices, or were those just ma- mainly openings on the Turner Motorsports schedule? Well, there was a little bit of both. You know, I, I feel those are those are five really big races in, in the series, and in Iowa, that that's a special one for me. That's kind of back in my stomping grounds. I'm mm-hmm. I'm from northwestern Ontario, pretty much straight north of there, and that that's the closest we can get to to home for me. So that's a real special one for me, and that's where I race my dirt cars all over the country, and. Uh, Kentucky, Kentucky's going to be a big one this year too. With the first time uh, Cup's going to be there, and they just have diehard race fans in Kentucky, and it's just all, all through all through that central region. We're we're really trying to focus this this five race program right through that region, and it uh, the the schedule aligned with exactly what Mike's was trying to accomplish with the program, so it worked out to be a perfect deal. Is there a possibility if if you go out there and just knock them dead in these five, a possibility for more down the road, to most notably maybe a, a larger schedule for next year? My friend, I've got my schedule planned out until like 2032. Ah. Ah. I, uh-huh. I, I have got it all figured out exactly what I'm going to do, exactly what cars and what trucks and what everything I'm going to be racing. 
I'm just really trying to get all the team owners and, and sponsors to go along with my plans. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. I was going to ask if that's in pencil or pen, so I guess it's in pencil, right? I love so, it. No, but, but in all seriousness, no, honestly, like at this point, I, I am so excited about everything we got going right now, and I don't even know what's going I don't even know what we're doing for Christmas next year, that kind of stuff. Never mind. Right. Never mind full time, but that's that's definitely that's definitely the direction we're trying to go, and we're going to be working as hard as we can to get there. You mentioned uh, a minute ago that that you've been associated in the past and run some for Junior Motorsports. Is there does that relationship continue, or or were there just no opportunities for, uh, for you there, and you've looked elsewhere? Absolutely. Like when when we started that deal, it was it was a one race deal. We were just going to go run Talladega, and we ended up running seven races for them. And then actually uh, back in December, we we're out doing some testing for them and stuff out in Arizona. And I, I still got a great relationship with everyone over there. Uh, as far as a friendship goes, I still swing by the shop and say hello to everyone all the time. And they like Dale Dale Jr. and Kelly gave me such an opportunity. They they took me. I had nothing to bring to the table, and they they took me in and, and gave me an opportunity. And I learned so much just from being able to hang out with junior hang out with with tony junior and tony senior and and just everyone over there so uh we we definitely got a great relationship still are you still throwing chunks of red clay in people's beer at short tracks around the country or is or has that had to take a little bit of a back seat now <laughs> i haven't done near as much you know when i first started this deal i still planned on doing like 30 40 races a year mm-hmm. on the dirt tracks and i my wife and my parents are looking at me like i'm crazy like you're never gonna have time to do that I'm like god yeah we, we used to race 100 120 nights a year right. but uh now th- this stuff takes a lot of time man it's it's i'm getting a whole new awakening uh, a whole new view of what goes on behind the scenes on these deals and, and how much how much effort how much time and 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 attention to detail that goes into these these nascar programs so that's been that's been taking up the majority of my time right now but we are uh we're definitely getting some things in the works we're probably going to be doing at least probably four or five dirt races this year again okay good deal well we look forward to that uh certainly look forward to seeing you back on track at texas motor speedway kentucky iowa indy uh, and chicago land great to talk to you great to have you back and we'll wish you the best thank you i appreciate it guys thanks for having me you bet. Steve Arpin, Mike's Hard Lemonade Chevrolet, the number 32 truck for Turner Motorsports, beginning at Texas Motor Speedway.